What's up, beautiful people? It's Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. How are you? Hope all is well. Hope you had a great weekend because I did. I actually had a really good weekend. We're on the cusp of the end of the month. And can I just say, I cannot wait to get out of January. Okay, baby, January has been holding me hostage. I really feel like it is the junior's bachelor party of 2024. Okay, somebody come get me, please. February, come get me, please. I'm at junior's bachelor party. Come help me. It's just the longest month. I'm sorry. I had to, you know, put a little moisture on my lips, baby. You never know who's watching. Um, And I'm just, this is the longest time of the year for me. January goes on for like at least two months, but we are on the cusp of the end of this and thank God. Okay. A lot's happened over the weekend. <laughs> I've gotten your tags. I've gotten your messages and I've been peeping from afar, kind of letting things fester, not really fester, but I guess formulate is the better word because things were changing so quickly with all of these diss tracks and, and digs and tweets. And you know, I'm at the age now at a smooth 34. Well, I'm like, you know what? Baby, I'm T got things to do. I have other things to do. I will get to that. But it was just too much going on. But it was quite a weekend. And we're going to get into that. First, congratulations are in order. Let's talk about some good news before we get into uh, the foolery. Just Hilarious is the official new permanent co-host of The Breakfast Club. Now, we all know... It was a little bit of conversation behind Just Hilarious Child because one day you saw her, and then she made like a little announcement at her little party or whatever. And then, baby, you didn't see her no more. And and we had questions, we meaning me, because I was like, well, what happened, baby? You ain't go over the, the terms and conditions of the contract. I was, I was concerned because I was like, well, what had happened, girl? Because we didn't see her no more. And then everybody kind of speculated, had their little, you know, two piece and a biscuit of things to say. And some were very negative, as was put into the trailer of that announcement that she made today, which I thought was really creative and a good idea because it shut everybody up, baby. Okay. <laughs> On mute. That's what she did. Um, but congratulations on order. She, alongside uh, DJ Envy and Charlamagne God, will be a threesome for the show. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing what she does. If y'all remember Just Hilarious like I do, I, I remember her starting off online as, you know, posting videos and doing her thing and being funny. And she really has worked her way up. So I am uh, excited to see what she does with this opportunity. Congratulations are definitely in order. And right on time for Black History Month. Go on, girl. Mm, get the coin. Moving on. Now, I know on this channel, on The Scoop... I rarely talk about Blueface, Krishan, Crescendo, whoever else he's intertwining and tootsie rolling with because I grow tired of stupidity very quickly. But this I had to talk about because what, baby, what? Krishan done went now. Blueface is in jail. I forgot for what exactly because, again, I don't be following his stupidity. But we all know that they go back and forth, like Aaliyah said back in the day, Okay. And so she done turned around. She already has a tattoo of him on her neck. She goes and gets a tattoo on the side of her face of this man who publicly humiliates her every chance he gets, proposed to his other child's mother, and also claimed that the baby that she carried was not his. Baby, if this is love, I don't want no parts, okay? I don't want to be loved like this. I don't want no love like this. Let me be single and ready to mingle forever. If I got to be uh, this down bad. And she's so young. A beautiful girl. But we have to realize that people choose what they want to do. We can blame a lot of things. Trauma. Mental illness. All viable reasons. But sometimes a person just want to be on whatever they're on. And this is pure shenanigans. I I really, you know, I, I think she's like in her early 20s or mid 20s, possibly. 10 years from now, shoot, five years from now, I hope that she matures from this because this is detrimental. And I am very concerned about their child. Is anybody else concerned about? I am. I'm concerned about that little baby. I really am worried about this child growing up in this type of toxic environment all children growing up in toxic environments, but especially this one, since this is what we're talking about. But this is uh, the newest angst. And then allegedly she said she ain't want no help. She don't want to be saved. So baby, God bless you. 
okay? Um, I got my own uh, issues <laughs> to worry about. Can't save her. She don't want to be saved, okay? Moving on. Okay, y'all. This is the piece of resistance of conversation. Nicki Minaj versus Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion versus Nicki Minaj. A lot has been going on over these last few days between these ladies, okay? Twitter has been ablaze. It has been the Barbs versus the Stallions or, you know, the, the Ranch Keepers or whatever, you know, the hotties, I think, the hotties. And I'm just like, what? Like, why are y'all... Anyway, Meg Thee Stallion comes out with a song, Hiss, right? Hiss is a song, basically a response of all of the digs that Meg Thee Stallion have been, has been receiving versus, you know, the fake accents and, and BBL scars. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. The fake accents have me cackling because we all know who she's talking about. And yeah, he do be talking in that fake accent. But that, that ain't none of my business. That ain't none. So Nicki Minaj is in her feelings and her barbs are going haywire on Twitter. And then she goes live and then, you know, she's leaking snippets of Bigfoot, which is a response to his from Meg Thee Stallion. Mind you, in my opinion, I don't feel like Meg was necessarily adding Nicki. I feel like it was a general thing, but she Nicki Minaj is all in a tizzy so she releases Bigfoot I listen to Bigfoot I listen to his Bigfoot in my opinion low-hanging fruit as a matter of fact I, I'm gonna put in the comments I'm gonna put in as a poll and y'all let me know in the comments which song did y'all prefer his or Bigfoot I feel like again Bigfoot low-hanging fruit and then baby you gave us a monologue for like half the song Sounded like somebody who was off of that Taylor Port wine. Now, I do love a glass of Taylor Port myself. But, like, baby, you could have kept... That was kitchen table talking. I felt like it was very um, low-hanging fruit. It was lazy. And then these are the things that you were talking about on Twitter that nobody was kind of surprised of. And, I mean, you bringing up her, her deceased mother, poor taste. Like, I... Mm, pinky finger up poor taste girl i didn't like that mind you i don't have a dog in the fight i think they're both talented women but i think um this in my opinion i preferred meg's better and barbs and stallionaires or hotties or whomever if y'all come in my comments with some foolery i'm gonna block you because we're not doing that here okay as far as i'm concerned put on that luther vandross put on some new edition put on some brandy you know what I'm saying? Some I'll be sure. Like, that, that's the time that I'm on. Erica Badu, I'm about peace and prosperity over here. Not all that arguing back and forth. I don't have I don't have the finances to argue with y'all. <laughs> I got real bills to pay. Nonetheless, y'all let me know what you think in the comments section. It, a lot has transpired, and I feel like it's going to get worse before it gets better. And we've seen how a lot of these beefs go. I mean, come on now. <sighs> It's not looking too good. People spilling tea that they shouldn't be spilling. Mm. Baby, 2024 is coming in with a bang. Y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, continue to tag me. I do appreciate it. Um, a lot's going on, and I'll be here to give you my opinion. Uh, don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment for more content. As always, I'm Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. Peace.